Hey there, folks. Today I have a battle for you against Cheese by myself. It's an OU battle <gasps> using my newly redone OU team. Um, my newly redone OU team that first premiered on Pokebox 5 uh, and just really was bad in that iteration. So I've completely redone it with the help of the Smog on Rate My Team Forum. Um, it's... Uh, I nicknamed that RMT uh, So Choice because I have three choice users on this team. Anyway, we both switch out first turn, uh, leading me to wonder whether that Terrakion really is uh, Scarfed, as I would kind of expect it to be Scarfed, considering he let off with it. Anyway, um, gonna go ahead and set off my rock, uh, set up my rocks. I don't know why he went for a smackdown. I think he said that was a misclick. Anyway, he's just gonna U-turn out here. Um, so he's not Scarfed. Uh, good to know. Uh, I survived with 63 HP because this Celebi is a crazy, crazy awesome physical wall. I'm pretty sure this uh, this version runs pretty much max HP, max special, or max uh, defense. Anyway, he sends out Skarmory here. I'm completely walled by Skarmory. Nothing I can do, so I'm going to have to switch out. Um, so yeah, gonna call back Celebi, and considering who I've got on my team, I think that Uchikoma should be able to wall him fairly well and get off some uh, decently powerful hits. In the final estimation, that was probably a mistake. I could have sent. Out, I should have actually sent out my Hydreigon. Um, it would have been much better. Anyway, he's expecting me, expecting me to be an agility set. I guess I'm not sure. Anyway, I just go for the Ice Punch. Uh, neutral damage. It does not do anything. I mean, Skarmory. I mean, this is really just a mistake on my part. Uh, Skarmory is a physical wall, the premier physical wall, one of the, one of the premier physical walls of the game. Yeah, really was stupid. So anyway, I do a wise up and send out Moon, um, and you know, I take that hit rather well. Moon is my Scarfed Hydreigon, and I've got Fire uh, Blast, I've got Surf, I've got Draco Meteor, and I think the last one's U-Turn, not 100% sure. Anyway, uh, out for him is going to come Tyrantar. Here comes the Sand, uh, should have expected, oh, I mean... You know, it, it was coming. I really could have gone for the Surf for neutral damage uh, and for super effective damage against Tyrantar, sorry, neutral damage against uh, uh, Skarmory. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm gonna have, I'm gonna be forced to switch out because I am locked in. I go ahead and send in Hanuman, my Bandit Infernape. He goes ahead and sets up rocks, and so now uh, this next move really confused me, um, but I... Anyway, I, I go ahead and go over the close combat. I'm not sure why he didn't send in Celebi. I guess he was fearing the Fire Blast, um, but, you know, really he was like, okay, I'm just going to fodder Tyranitar. So he did. He does fodder Tyranitar, and I get the first KO of the match. I'm feeling pretty good about myself. So down goes Tyranitar. That's great for me. He does have the sand up, and that's going to not be great for me. Anyway, that's going to come Terrakion. So now I'm thinking, well, he's probably Scarfed, but maybe he'll miss a Stone Edge. Mm. I don't know why he wouldn't have just gone for the Earthquake, but it doesn't matter. His Stone Edge connects, it hit, and uh, one hit KOs, um, and now we're back to 5-5. So now I'm going to send out Metagross, um, thinking that, well, I know, I know he's Scarfed. Um, well, actually, I don't know that he's Scarfed, to be fair, because I'm Bandit. So he actually could be Bandit, um, because he does. I'm, I'm pretty sure he has higher base speed than me. Um, anyway, uh, I foolishly go for the Earthquake. That was really dumb. I should have gone for the Ice Punch, and I would have KO'd that Landorus. It would have been amazing. Anyway, he's just going to uh, U-turn out here. I think I'm just going to... I'm playing a very zero-level game. I don't want to over-predict. Uh, Cheese by myself is a much, much better player than I am. Um, and he knows... Or at the very least, he knows the OU metagame much better than I do. I don't really like OU. That's the bottom line. I don't spend much time playing OU. Um, and, yeah. So, anyway, he's faster than me. He sets up another round of spikes. I was really counting on him to roost. Um, and I was thinking, ah, oh, super effective damage. It would be amazing. Although, actually, it really wouldn't do very much because it's not even stab. Um, and, you know, he would be regaining 50% of his health. Here, I switch out into my Jellicent. Um, this is a Specs Jellicent, by the way. People really, really, really don't expect Specs Jellicent. So he's going to go ahead and roost here. Um, and so I'm like, ah, if only I'd stayed in an Earthquake, it would have been so great. Uh, by the way, look at how much uh, residual damage I'm taking from those entry hazards. I'm pretty sure he only has two rounds of spikes up at this point. Um, anyway, he's going to go ahead and withdraw uh, and send out uh, Lantern, not Lantern, I'm sorry, uh, Rotom Wash Form. 
could have predicted that, but I'm, again, I don't want to predict, and every time I try to predict, he, he out-predicts me. Um, Specs Surf does a lot of damage, brings him down to about 50% health, so I'm not too sad about that. That's really okay with me. I'm going to send out Celebi just for Death Fodder. I can't survive the spikes and Stealth Rocks anyway, and I want to see what move he's going to go for, because I know that he's locked into something, unless he's trying to, uh, unless he's running some kind of gimmick set, like Expert Belt, um, but, you know, he's not taking leftover recovery, so I'm pretty sure he's a choice set. And here he's going to switch out and go into his Celebi. I'm just going to go ahead and go for the Draco Meteor. Maximum damage unless he sends out Skarmory. Um, and it does a whole, whole lot to that Celebi, and I am pretty happy. And as long as the Celebi is not Scarfed, um, I think actually even if it is Scarfed, I will outspeed. speed. Um, I, I actually I need to look up Hydreigon's um, base speed. But yeah, so I, anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and go for another Draco Meteor. Its powers have, but at, at that range of health, I'm going to be able to get the KO. No problemo. So anyway, um, Celebi is down. Oh yeah, and he, he'd taken leftover recovery, so obviously I was going to outspeed. Anyway, now out is uh, Terrakion again. Going to want to switch out because I am at minus four. Going to send out Ringo, hoping that he'll go for the close combat, and uh, that would just be amazing. That would really be amazing. Instead, he goes for the Rock Slide. Very safe move for him, and it is going to take out my Jellicent. So Jellicent didn't really get to do too much in this match, um, but really, I have been impressed, at least when I've been playtesting this thing, um, well, people do not expect Specs Jellicent, and it does an amazing amount of damage. Here, I just go for the Ice Punch, I'm pretty sure. Oh uh, no, I go for the Psychic, thinking that he might stay in, and also thinking, well, maybe this guy is weaker on the special side. I think he told me later this is a specially defensive um, set, so yeah, I can't do Jack to the Skarmory, especially not with my Uchikoma. He's going to go ahead and Roost. I think I go for the Ice Punch, again, not wanting to predict him. At that range of health, why would he Roost? I mean, I was not expecting him to Roost. Um, I'm actually wondering when it is he's going to go ahead and go for the Whirlwind, and that's really why I'm staying, and I'm waiting for him to Whirlwind, although... So, let's see, he's shown me he has Spikes, Roost, um, I mean, he's got to have Whirlwind as the last move. Um, Unless he's unless the last move was Stealth Rock and I just missed it? I don't know. No, that was on Tyranitar. Anyway. Yeah, he's taken all those hits. I'm not doing anything to that Skarmory. I'm doing nothing at all to that Skarmory. Um, and I'm just... Uh, luckily, he got bored and decided to switch out. He sent out his... Uh, I mean, I, I do completely wall him, too. Because if his only attacking move is probably... Um, whatchamacallit, Brave Bird. I'm not sure why I didn't go over the world one. He must not carry it. Anyway, I'm not able to KO uh, quite yet, but luckily I have the bullet punch, so I am going to be able to KO on the next turn, so his chrome is taken out, and that is excellent for me. Um, it's actually, you know, what, it's 3-3 three, three right now. 3-3? Three, three? Yeah. Uh, three three. So I, I'm actually holding my own against the guy who's actually a lot better than I am and has been outpredicting me at every turn. So I'm actually pretty happy with this team. Um, so anyway, he is gonna take me out with an earthquake. I just stayed in um, basically because uh, well, I guess I could have sent in um, my well, I guess I could have sent either one predicting an earth uh, yeah, predicting um, an earthquake, but I just didn't predict the earthquake, and um, this way I can take him out with a surf, and now again, it's a tie game. I uh, know I'm down to 48 HP, and he's got that Skarmory. Now the question is, can I take out the Skarmory with a surf, um, or maybe even two surfs? So here I go for the surf. Um, it is going to do a nice chunk of damage, but it's going to be less than half, so my only hope, the only hope I have of taking out this Skarmory is if I somehow, somehow, by the the grace of God get a crit but I just I just don't see it happening um, now I guess the better move would have been to go to for fire blast but then his Terrakion could have walled me um, but and I'm not even sure that I could have taken him out with a fire blast this thing is a beast so anyway yeah don't get the crit he's gonna recover it back up to full HP and moon is going to die to the sandstorm so now I am down to my last Pokemon and um, this is a this nasty plot probat very strange set. I go for the Nasty Plot here. I, If I carried the Heat Wave, I might actually be able to do a dent to this guy. But alas, I do not. Um, I decided to opt for Air Slot. I basically decided to opt for Double Stab instead. It's uh, Nasty Plot, Hidden Power Ground, I want to say, um, Air Slash, Sludge Bomb. Just basically, you know, 
still uh uh bleh. crobat really doesn't have that great special attack so it really needs the power it can get from stab uh and i was also hoping for the flinch hacks anyway i don't get it he takes me out and that is good game so great game cheese by myself show me how it's done that is an excellent ou battle uh so yeah hope you folks enjoyed it comment rate subscribe and challenge <laughs>